Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Here I am with the new video with the arch bar wiring and here it is arch bar wiring. We are going to take demo on it. So the instrument we need are arch bar, needle holder, 26 gauge wire, a straight hand piece with 702 number uh, bar, wire cutter. We are giving demo on tensionless cast in which we have to do holes. First of all, we need to make holes on the interdental area. take 26 gauge wire and extend it by pulling both the sides Cut the end. Cut these wire into pieces, approx 10 to 12 cm. Many wire of equal length. Such that the distal side of the tooth of the wire is occlusally placed and mesial side is apically placed. The same wire of the same wire. Now take the arch bar. Both the ends are pulled and twisted. Cut extra part. Same thing we are going to do in this way.
now we are going to start from the opposite side of the arch now again for, for the last molar we have to place just opposite what we have to do the mesial is always uh, on buccal side and distal side is always on the apical side just opposite in uh, like in uh, every step I, we have done opposite to that you can place it in the last so now here for the second the same rule we are doing the distal is always on buccal side and mesial is always apical side put all the wires hold it accordingly pull and twist
He placed the wire, uh, me, uh, the mesial, uh, mesial side wire is buckly placed and the distal side wire is apically placed. Now short, uh, short in the these loops. First of all, we are going to do opposite side. Now short these loops so that uh, and place it in interdental area so that it does not impinge to the patient. Make a loop, press it, place in interdental area.
press all the clip again the reason is it does not uh, impinge the patient <laughs> this type of arch bar wiring uh, is uh, for immobilization of single and comminative fracture within the dental arch for immobilization of undisplaced fracture of maxilla when pa patient is partially edentulous adequate number of teeth are not present for iv loop when the teeth are periodontally compromised and mobile um, there are so many other indication uh, indication are also present and the disadvantage can be uh, it can't be used solely for grossly displa displaced fracture can't be used in edentulous patient or patient with the extensive fixed prosthesis limited use in mixed dentition and can you can cause movement of teeth so if you like this video please comment subscribe and share 